Okay, we put the hook into the wise. Make sure it's secure. Tying thread. It's not. It's about six. Turn on. Okay. First traps. Very tight. Rooster feather for the tail. Few fibers, you know. Measure about one shank length or body of the fly length, but I like it a bit longer. Okay. Now we attach very fine copper wire. I like red with feather tail. Then we take some longer, nice peasant tail fibers, make it even. Okay. We tie them on the hook by the very tips. Make this secure. And we try to, fi to make a fine underbody for our fly so more wrapped closely to the head of the fly and less wraps on the rear part of the fly so the fly will look more similar to natural a few more wraps it's not that important that we make that this perfect the fibers of the pheasant will make it look more more good so we wrap around those pheasant tail fibers make it tight make it nice this fly is one of my favorite flies I use it almost all year uh, sizes 14 and 12 it's the good about this fly is it is very useful it's you it can imitate most more insects at time so it's very useful fly when you don't know what to throw to the fish okay now in the opposite direction uh, we make uh, this uh, we wrap this wire over our body it's not that important the number of turns but we make this body secure well yeah. secure it I like to make it even more secure by pulling this wire to the back and taking it with this thread now the reason why I like this fly so much is it is visible, highly flotant, and it's very, it's very good fly. Fish adore it, adores it. Now, this is rabbit, his foot. So snowshoe rabbit foot, but every wild rabbit or hare will do. Now, take some fibers hairs and that will make our wings for the fly it's very highly floating floating fly but it does not has its uh, it doesn't have its uh, body on the surface but in the film so it makes it even more interesting to the fish because it imitates one stadium of insects where it's very fragile very easy to catch so fish rarely uh, rarely refuse this bite they want to eat it almost but every, every time of the year now when we have just enough pump 
tight and make it upward. Okay, it goes to the forward. Few loose wraps and then we tighten it, tighten it a bit. All wraps are almost in the same spot because this will we will catch both sides and put it up. And we will secure it with few wraps for tying thread. Okay. Now this is very securely made. It is almost indestructible fly. Okay, so we will even more put it upwards with our dubbing. SLF. I'll take dark brown, just a pinch of it. It makes nice contrast. It has a bit of glitter in it, so it's sparkling. It's a mixture, I guess, of Anstron and Skrull dubbing, so it's very nice, good for our flies. Okay, we, we should make all the thin dubbing on our thread, because we can tie it more easily, more precisely, so our fly will look very nice. Okay, we, we even more put it up. Okay, I'll add some more dubbing because I need it. Nice mixture. Mixture. With some fur of this curl and some dubbings. Artificial dubbings. Okay, I think this will be enough for our thorax. Okay. Okay, we go to the head, okay, so check if everything looks nice, I'll take just a little bit more, okay. At first this fly will look very nice, neat and everything, but after first fish it will, it will look just that it, as it should look. All these fibers will be visible. You can do it now by brushing, brushing it with some brush or with a needle. We make some nice little heads here. Till we finish is our always enough. I don't use any lecture head to mentor everything because it never happens to me that this knot unties. Okay, this is almost finished fly. Some makeup and it is enough. Okay. Now, I'll take a small brush, homemade, and I'll brush out some fibers to look like some legs or something. Fish like this hairy stuff on the fly, they don't refuse it. Okay, now, this is how the fly looks from beneath. This is how it looks from the upside, it's highly visible. Everything but the white wings is under the water or in the film. So when we grease it with some grease, we should grease just the white stuff on the top. And the fly will float correctly and hunt fish as it should. 
good for grinding trout, chub, or whatever. <laughs>